What is the department doing to uh, to try and ensure that exports from Japan that might go to the sushi markets aren't cont contaminated? Well, you know, we, s we certainly work with our partners at the federal level uh, whose responsibility it is to inspect international shipments entering this country. Japan depends on the rest of the world for the bulk of their food supply, but they do export seafood items. And, uh, and so we will continue to work with our partners at Customs and Border Protection, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, and U.S. Department of Agriculture to make sure that, that there are no contaminated products entering, uh, entering the state of Florida or any other part of the country for that matter. And what about Florida's own seafood? Is it, 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 are you seeing consumer confidence going back in the marketplace, or is it still not recovered from the oil spill? Well, let's, let's be clear and separate the two. There is no radiation issues with Florida <laughs> seafood, but, um, you know, consumer confidence did, it, you know, it, it really took it on the chin and um, uh, dipped precipitously after the BP oil spill. And we have had a very aggressive testing protocol since that spill, and we're now entering the one-year anniversary, where we continue to test routinely the shellfish being harvested in Florida waters for the presence of oil or dispersant. And to date, there has not been a problem. And, uh, and so we're working with those producers and with retail and restaurant operators to, to put that back on the menu, put it back on the shelves, get it back onto people's plates because we can certify that Florida fresh seafood is safe and you can eat it with a high level of confidence. Now we just need to get that word out and help, help rebuild that confidence. In regards to getting the word out, um, what about the marketing um, money the department got from BP? How important is it to market it all around the country to let people know Florida seafood is safe? Well, just in the last couple of weeks, the department concluded negotiations with BP on a settlement for $20 million, $10 million devoted solely to the testing of Florida shellfish, and $10 million devoted to the marketing of fresh Florida uh, Gulf seafood. We have, uh, so while we have concluded those negotiations with BP, uh, the Legislative Budget Committee uh, has not yet met to release those funds to us. And as soon as they meet and hopefully approve that settlement, uh, we will then be able to move rapidly and, and proceed with our plans. What, in 